This remote, wild valley is not just inhospitable due to its rugged terrain, extreme weather, and predators, but it's also deadly due to some unexplained circumstances. Over the decades, many unfortunate travelers and explorers have gone missing, or they have turned up dead and beheaded. The number of decapitated bodies found within the Hani Valley have earned it the nickname Valley of Headless Men. The origins of this eerie nickname can be traced to the early 20th century, at the time of the famous Klondike Gold Rush. At this time, many would-be prospectors wanted to test their fortunes and head out to the remote Canadian wilderness, especially the Yukon. It was known to contain gold in its rivers and soils, and a treasure could be quickly made by those lucky enough to strike gold. Two of these prospectors decided to forego the traditional routes and locations leading to Yukon and to instead try their luck in the Nahani Valley. They were two brothers of Matisse ancestry, Willie and Frank McLeod. In 1906, they canoed upriver to reach the Nahani Valley, and that was the last time anyone saw them alive. In 1908, two years later, a search party discovered their skeletons at the remains of a camp. Both were headless. Seemingly, they were asleep when they were attacked. The body of one of the brothers lay reaching out towards a gun, indicating a need for defense. A third man, their companion, surnamed Weir, was missing. From here on, the mysteries deepened. Who would decapitate so ruthlessly two peaceful prospectors? And what happened to their heads? Rumors began spreading, and many wild theories were put forward. Some spoke of feuding prospectors killing one another, 